What's going on, internet people? Jossie just back with a special unboxing and tasting video for you today. So, Snack Fever, the company that I'm subscribed to for the Korean snack boxes that I get monthly, um, they released another one of their special boxes. Um, it's similar to like the White Day box or the Black Day box, where it's not a subscription, it's just kind of like a special thing, but it's not about a day. So, there's this company, this is a Korean company called Lot or Lotte, uh, L-O-T-T-E, and they're huge. Like, they're one of the biggest companies that I, at least in Korea, I'm assuming, um, they have their own theme park. Uh, it's called like Lot or Lotte World, and it's kind of like their equivalent of Disneyland over there. Um, anyone who's been to South Korea, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that name, that brand name is pretty you know, well-known, and they, um, they make snacks and stuff, too, along with theme parks. <laughs> and so, uh, one of their snacks is kind of like the Korean version of Pocky, so it's like the thin biscuit sticks that are usually dipped in chocolate or something like that, and I want to say they're called Pretz. I think they're called Pretz. I could be wrong. Correct me, please. Um, but Latte and Snack Fever decided to do a collab and work together on a box, and that is what this box that I will be unboxing today. Uh, it's a special Lot Lave Snack Fever collab box, and it even says here on the bottom, Lotte box in collaboration with Snack Fever. And so, um, from what I was reading, it's got pretty much like, I think six, the six most popular flavors of Pretz or those biscuit stick thingy mo bobbers and you get like two of each flavor so that's like the six most popular flavors in here so kind of excited i don't know if i'm gonna try them all right now um but i did ha i do have my water bottle sitting by just in case uh i do decide to try something or some things girl so let's get into this box this special box it should still be available on the website i'll post a link um, in the description below so you, you guys can check it out. Um, as far as I know, it's not sold out, but who knows? By the time you watch this video, whenever you're watching it, it could be sold out, but I don't know. Uh, all right, put the flap and ooh, it's got, okay, so this is some special packaging. So it looks almost like sci-fi. It's like this padded, it's like bubble wrap, but it's like wrapped in foil. I think it's to protect the boxes so they, the, they don't crack. Um, the biscuits don't crack or something, which is kind of nice because, you know, how many times have you opened like a box of Pocky or even Pretz or something and then you try to grab a whole one and it's like broken in half and you're all sad and depressed because it's not full. Well, I'm sure none of you are that depressed when that happens because you'll just eat the other half, but, you know, you know what I mean. Come on. Okay. So, the sci-fi stuff comes off. Maybe I can, mm -hmm. maybe I'll bring this to Hawaii with me so I can tan. Who needs help tanning in Filipino? Are you kidding me? I'm brown when I'm outside in the, like a, a, a rainy day, okay? All right, so when I remove the sci-fi stuff, this is what it looks like. Ooh, fancy, guys. Peppero, that's what it's called. Peppero, not pretz. I think pretz is the savory one without the chocolate, but peppero, that's the Korean equivalent of Pocky, and obviously Pocky is Japanese, so. But it's their Peppero box, Latte Peppero box with Snack Fever. And uh, this Peppero box was made just for you. Oh, and they have, these are the six flavors. So they list the six flavors on the back and they give you instructions on, you know, they want you to follow Snack Fever and Latte. They want you to post about it and they want you to share. So that's kind of cool that they're doing that. But I'll keep this so I know which flavors we have. So, well, I'm gonna have to talk to you about them anyway right now. So let's start. Um, let's do the top boxes. So they're called Double Dip Pepperos. So there's a chocolate one. That's this guy. And then there's a strawberry one, which is this guy. Okay. And then the Double Dip Pepperos are twice, is it says twice is just as nice. These sticks are a bit shorter than their cousins, but they make up for it with two layers of sweetness so the biscuit sticks are shorter but they're dipped twice so i don't know if you see it on the box but 
It's got like the strawberry on the outside and then it looks like almost like a white chocolate or vanilla or something that's dipped. So when you bite into it, it's gonna be two flavors. I think I do wanna try that one. I don't know if I wanna do the chocolate or the strawberry. They both sound delicious. Let's do strawberry. And these boxes are cute too, cause look, it's almost like a Valentine. You can give it to someone. Too bad these didn't show up in February. Hmm, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Mm. Don't want to drop anything. Trying to keep things organized. It's kind of impossible. All right, next. First, next, well, there's a sticker. <laughs> that is not edible, but there's a sticker. It's got a, enjoy your goodies, my friend. And it's got like, looks like some K-pop stars and a random heart there. I don't even know. I can't even tell the images is, is so small, but that's cool that they included that into the box. And there's something else. What is this? Silicone cell phone wallet. Oh, look at that. They included this in the box too. It says your new silicone phone wallet easily stores credit cards, driver's license, cash, business. Oh, okay. So I remove. Okay, so this has an adhesive backing, and then you basically place this on your phone. I can't show you because I'm using my phone to film but I will I'm trying to okay, I'll use the pepperoni box I'll use one of these boxes so imagine this was your phone hypothetically okay people I know it's not 2002 this isn't a freaking you know T-Mobile sidekick or something but just bear with me okay for the visual so you peel the adhesive back in and then you put it on your phone like that and then you, on the back of your phone, you can put all your cards and stuff, like this has a card in it, you know, or whatever. See, the image even shows you, like, you can put a credit card, you can put a, an ID, whatever, and it's all stuck to the back of your phone. Plus, you're just basically a glaring advertisement for this company. <laughs> so, smart. Um, if I didn't have a cute design on my case already, um, I might actually use this, so we'll see if I decide to change my case or something. But that's a really nice, like, little gift that they decided to add into the box. So thank you, Lot or Lotte, and thank you, thank uh, Snack Fever, for um, doing that. All right, moving on to the next flavor. Let's do this one. This is almond, almond pepperoni. Yeah, we go nuts for this too. Almond chunks on a classic pepperoni stick adds an extra punch of flavor and texture. So that's good. I think, I mean, like, almond is, I, of the, of Pocky, almond, the almond crunch one is my favorite. So I'm assuming this is probably delicious as well. This is, let's go with this one. I think this is just the original, old school, legit. The time-honored combination of a long skinny biscuit dipped in chocolate. It's not just classic, it's classy. So, the basic chocolate with biscuit stick, aka pepperoni, aka pocky, whatever. Um, let's do this one. So this is called White Cookie, uh, aka Cookies and Cream. Cookies and Cream on a pepperoni stick, game over. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a regular pepperoni stick with the uh, white chocolate and the Oreo type cookie things on it. I think uh, the Japanese Pocky has a similar one, but the stick is like a chocolate, like a, like, you know, it's like the Oreo flavor. So it's like extra Oreo. So we'll see. Maybe I'll try that. Still debating. Still debating on which one I really want to try. And then the last one in the box, because remember you got two of each one. And there's six flavors in the box. This is, they call this nude. Nude? That's very disheartening, but. Okay. Nude. Uh, these misleadingly named treats, yes, um, may not look like they have much on the outside, but they have plenty of goodness within them. It's not always about what you look like on the outside. Wow, that is a very political statement you made for a snack. Uh, but it looks like it's the opposite, it's like reverse, so like the chocolate's inside. Oh, I think I want to try that one. Okay. Alright guys, so that's all the flavors that are in the Lot Pepperoni uh, Snack Fever collab box thing. Um, I think I'm going to try two. Just two. Uh, because 
pretty much I know the flavors of all the other ones and it's pretty basic if you've had Pocky or any of those types of biscuit and chocolate uh, stick combo dealios um, it's pretty straightforward it's a very basic you know milk chocolate um, not too sweet with a biscuit and it's crispy and very tasty and slightly addicting and <laughs> so but these are two that I don't think I've ever had before so because I don't think I've ever I don't think Pocky has an inside out type of a uh, product and I don't know if they have a double dip either so these two are the most unique ones of the box to me i could be wrong but for my personal tastes these are the ones i'm gonna try um so this box is pretty cool though because you got the sticker and the um the uh cell phone wallet thingy my bummer so all right i'm gonna start with the chocolate one the the nude nude one so Pop it open. Open the thingy. Make it small so I can close it up later. Oh, come on. And there goes the box. I am not smooth about that. Oh my. There we go. Let's try that again. All right. Smooth. Really? All right. So that's what it looks like, looks pretty quote unquote nude, but then when you look on the inside, you see it's got some chocolate inside. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. It's weird because when you have the biscuit hollow, in the chocolate inside, it doesn't become as crispy, but the flavor is still good. It's like a nice thin layer of chocolate. Very enjoyable. Mm. It almost seems less chocolatey than your typical like pepperoni or pocky, because since the chocolate's on the inside. They kind of have to limit the amount that they can actually put, you know, as opposed to a dipped one where it's just kind of like whatever gravity says, that's what's going to happen as opposed to this one has to be filled. Mm. Kind of wish these were a little bit more hollow so you can like drink milk through them like a straw. That would be cool, but to each their own. Not bad with the nude pepper oil. Mm. Right. Time for the fancy one. This is the double dipped strawberry. It looks extra fancy. This is like the Valentine's Day box. Double dipped pepper oil. So. Oh, there's two little packs in this box. See? Two little packs and they are yeah they are much shorter than the regular one so. trying to open it without breaking them there we go All right. let's see what we get wow okay Put this in the box. Look at that. It's like a freaking club. <laughs> it's much shorter than the um, the other one that I tried, the uh, nude pepperoni, and it's you know tip, it's a lot shorter than the average like regular pepperoni stick. But um, you can tell that it's it's like tapered, almost like a baseball bat. Um, so you can tell that it's been double dipped. It's been dipped in the vanilla or the white chocolate. I haven't. I don't know yet. And then dipped again in that strawberry. Uh, chocolate or dip or whatever. Hmm. I can't tell if it's white chocolate or vanilla because the strawberry is so strong. If you've have if you've had anything Asian like strawberry, especially with like 
cookies or biscuits or whatever. So not just Pocky, but Yan Yan or the Hello Pandas or any of those types of products that has a biscuit type product with strawberry filling. That's pretty much what these taste like. The coating is really thick on the biscuit. So if you really like that coating, you'll really enjoy these small ones. But if you're someone that enjoys the actual like crunch of the biscuit, these might not necessarily be the best for you. You might as well just stick with the regular pepperro or the regular pocky or whatever. It's a nice change. And they're cute because they're small. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like one broke. Their loss is my gain. <laughs> but it's good flavor. The strawberry flavor is very prevalent. It's just really strong. A little sweet, except you're not into too, excuse me, too much sweetness. This might not be your cup of tea. You'd probably want to stick with the nude because it's like more biscuit compared to chocolate. So this one's like a lot more of the coating compared to the biscuit. Yeah, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but biscuit right in the middle. And it's got like a little layer of the white, like white chocolate, and then the strawberry on the outside. So, hmm. Mm. Nice, nice. But yeah. That is all for the 2016 Lot Lotte uh, Snack Fever collab box, the Pepperow box. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like this box, um, mention, uh, talk to me in the comment section. Let me know like what flavor do you think you would enjoy the most, or if you've tried all of these flavors, like what flavor do you like? What flavor don't you like? Um, yeah, just have a conversation down there. It's fun. Plus, it's food. Like, who doesn't like talking about food? Okay? <laughs> um, like I said, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I have a whole ton of uh, unboxing videos on my channel, plus a lot of random stuff, too. And I got stuff uh, coming up in the next month. Uh, it might be a little bit delayed because I am going to Hawaii for my birthday. I'm super excited about it, by the way. It's like less than two weeks away. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to Hawaii. But um, because of that, um, I'm literally gone like the middle of the month. So a lot of my boxes will be arriving around that time. So I probably won't do an unboxing video until after I get back, which might be pretty much close to the end of the month. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm hoping, crossing fingers, that at least one box arrives before I leave for uh, Hawaii, so I can do an unboxing in Hawaii. I'm praying for a snack box, like Universal Yums or something, to show up before I leave for Hawaii. Because if that happens, that would be epic. I would totally do an unboxing video in Hawaii. Somehow, somewhere, I'll do it. So, anywho, um, that is all from me. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good night, guys. Bye.